Welcome to my channel. I'm Missy X9, and this is Daily Rambles, as you saw from my intro video, which I hope y'all enjoy. I might change it up around fall, just because different seasons. I don't have like a seasonal type intro. So um, if you like the intros, let me know down below what you think of the intro. Let me know down there. If you like it, hate it, let me know. Anyway, uh, today we're going over. Arrow, and we're going to go over the episode, Trust But Verify. Trust But Verify. I love the title of this already, just because I, it's like, you can trust them, but you need to verify that you trust them as well, which I, I that's why I go by sometimes. So anyway, we start off with an armed robbery. Uh, it's like an armored car robbery, and, um, so it's like a military type operation, and so when Oliver trying to figure that out, he figures it's Ted Gaynor, and um, he's on the list. And Dibble was um, trusting him because he was his um, superior officer in Afghanistan, I think. Yeah, but um, Oliver does not trust him whatsoever because he's on the list. And then we have a flashback scene where Ollie takes the uh, guy's uniform. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, Um, When Oliver almost gets captured, he does get caught up in the sky and they fall off a cliff. And so he gets the guy's uniform and puts it on. I don't know why I did not discuss the, write that down in a future episode. Sometimes when I watch it, I get a little too caught up and forgot to, forget to write stuff down. So anyway, he gets the guy's uniform. Then we jump back to present, and Merlin reaches out to Tommy, and Tommy ain't having it. So there's that. And then um, we cut to Arrow runs into Diggle while trying to get information from Gaynor. So he's trying to get information, but um, Diggle holds up the gun. Arrow is like, oh, no, no. So he escapes, uh, so Arrow escapes, and then, um, you know, he's trying to get in, um, Diggle's trying to get into the Blackhawk security, which is um, Gaynor's business. And so um, when they get back to the, the layer, well, it's not really a layer, it's, well, I'm going to say Arrow Cave, just because I can't. So, um, Oliver and Dibble argue a lot, and then we cut to Mora and Thea have a little heart-to-heart -heart moment, so cute. And then we cut to Mora and Malcolm's shadiness stuff. And then, um, Thea thinks Mora is cheating on, on Walter with Malcolm, because they're being very buddy-buddy. And she ain't having it. And then Mora tells Oliver Robert was unfaithful because um, Thea went to Oliver about the Malcolm Merlin thing. So she talks, so he talks to Mora about it, and she says, "Well, your dad's one who was unfaithful multiple times." And then um, we get to a flashback scene where um, Oliver gets captured. And because only if it's a ski mask, all they can see is the eyes, and they are trained to look into the eyes and tell who that person is. I don't know how they do it. I'm not going to go into the whole thing about it. Anyway, so he gets captured and knocked out in the head. And then we jump back to present day, and Oliver gets Felicity to help because he steals a thumb drive um, earlier from when he went to confront Gainer. So he stole that. Uh, and then there's an awkward Merlin dinner, because uh, Michael Merlin um, invites somebody out for dinner and invites Laurel, so they have a good dinner. Then he makes it awkward by getting Tommy to sign this piece of paper to shut down his mom's free clinic in the glades. And he's like, no, that's mother's. It's not yours. 
and he gets very mad about it and all this type of stuff and that's his alternative is just to do the paperwork. It wasn't to get to know the war or anything, it was just to get him to sign the damn work. And so Tommy got mad about it and they leave. And then we cut to error interferes with another robbery. And then, um, so he blocks that robbery and um, shoots a guy and he's bleeding out in the van when, when they drive off. And then it's Thea's birthday! And Thea gets a convertible! And then Thea sees Merlin Amora and she's thinking what she's thinking, that they're cheating. And so she gets really mad and Thea also got drugs from her friends that she originally was going to take. She just want to throw it away. And then she saw, sees Merlin and Mora, and basically she takes the drugs and she takes the car. And yeah. But then we jump to Dick getting busted because he's trying to do investigative work because he doesn't trust another person on the, um, in the company. But it turns out Ted is the mastermind after all. So, um, but, and they kidnap Carly, so he has to do what they say. And he wants them, he wants Diggle to, um, get an armor car. And then Arrow drops in because, um, Diggle does not take the shot to, um, get rid of the, um, the van. And, so they're about to kill her, but Arrow steps in and takes care of it. And then Arrow um, takes out Ted. And then it's like, you know, the police show up, and of course Arrow disappears. And then, you know, we we'll have that. Then we cut to Thea, hits the car, and she crashes it so hard. And then um, we cut to Diggle gets. Um, to cross out the name in the notebook. He's like, ah, uh, from now on, don't tell me whose name, any more names in this book. Just don't tell me. And then Thea gets up in the hospital, and she's still pissed at Thea, I mean, at more at her mom, and she's still super mad about that. And then, um, when she gets ready to go home, the cops show up and arrest her because she had drugs in her system. And then we have a flashback scene where Yafe switches sides and Oliver's not happy about that. So that's the end of that episode. So it was a really good episode. I'll give it A plus. They had really good action moments in here. It was really good. Good storylines. And how Thea's being a little bitch. Let's just be honest, she's being a bitch. And she says it's like, I'm sorry for being a bitch. Or, you know, whatever. She says it in an episode, so it's true. She's being hella annoying. But, um, this teenage angst, so that's what it is. So anyway. Anyway, so... I like the character developments, though, for her. I really like how her character is progressing, though she's turned to a freaking hot mess. It's still a good character um, progression. Along with Laurel, and I like the interaction between Tommy and Merlin. I like the characters' dynamics between them. They're really good. And just everything about it's just, it's a good, it's a good show. You can tell why people got hooked on the show and why they kept watching and watching. It's really good, so. So, yeah. That's gonna do it for me. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Oh yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Comment down below what you want me to do next. Anyway, see you next video. Bye.